Hey everybody, I wanted to share a quick tip for you to improve your relationship today. It's the last night, I guess it was just yesterday afternoon. Um, one thing you may or may not know about me, I am really stubborn, which is good in some respects in that I'm definitely a mystic get outer. And then in other respects, not so good. <laughs> so yesterday, my husband and I got into a little, little bit of a disagreement and I just felt both of us getting kind of like digging our heels in and wanting to be right and it was something completely insignificant and silly but neither one of us like our much your emotions are involved you kind of lose all sense of logic so I wanted to share some some ideas for you if you find yourself in those situations where you find yourself in disagreements or discussions where it's probably not all that important and sometimes it may be that important but what you can do to like resolve like ease the conflict get out of the emotional reptilian brain and back into a little bit of like logic and rationality so i used to take i used to practice shotokan karate and one of my favorite lessons from there was <laughs> sorry my dog is deciding it's time to roll in the grass um was when someone's about ready to attack you, whether that's, you know, they're going to punch you, they're going to kick you, they're coming after you. The best thing to do instead of, instead of, of course, meeting their attack with an attack is to move, is to get the heck out of the way. And what happens is you diffuse all that energy that's heading towards you, puts them a little bit off balance, kind of gets them by surprise. And all that energy that was coming to attack you is no longer there. And it's the same thing that you can do in disagreements. Instead of meeting the attack with an attack or a disagreement with more disagreement, simply decide, and know this is, this is not easy, to yield, to decide <laughs> that you're just gonna move away. You're gonna step back. That is not that important. And the funny thing is, oftentimes when you do this, the other person will also realize it's not that important. But when you're in the energy of the disagreement, like I said, when your emotions are high and getting that little dopamine kick and there's kind of some excitement and some, some drama involved, it's hard to step away. But when you make the conscious choice to step away, the other person, it also diffuses their energy. There's, it's no longer fun when no one's <laughs> engaging with them. No one's wanting to play the game with them. And so they often will no longer feel they need to, to win either. So I encourage you to think about that. I know it's, it takes practice because often our emotions kind of hijack us and you have to be really conscious and be committed to doing this work of understanding your emotions and having some emotional management and also being able to step outside and ask, you know, what do you really want? <laughs> and what, you know, is this argument going to lead to? Is it going to lead to greater harmony in your relationship? Is it going to, or is it going to lead to greater dissension in your relationship and greater disconnection? And then just ask, you know, do you want disconnection and dissension? Or would you prefer to have harmony and connection? And if that's your true desire, then shift to... I know this is difficult, out of the emotion and into rationality and logic. And that could mean simply walking away, or it could just mean agreeing. Okay, okay. Once you agree and yield, there's no longer anything to argue about. So the argument is dissolved, the energy is diffused. And then you're able to move on to something else. <laughs> just forget about it. Because most of the times these little tiffs aren't even that significant. And if it is something important, it could be something that you need to address at a later time when you're out of the emotion. But for today, just keep in mind, how can you just be in that energy of yielding? And this isn't a place of submission because it's actually a great place of, of power because when someone's coming at you and you move and get out of the way, you have the power. So it's kind of a sort of counterintuitive approach and very effective approach. So. Let me know your thoughts. All right, talk to you soon.